Hi and welcome to No Second Season. My name's Ange, in case you haven't been here before. This weekend, I've come to my favorite snow camping spot, JB Plain in the high country, just past Mount Hotham here in Australia. Now it's Saturday the 27th of July, so that makes it two thirds of the way through winter here in New South Wales. Now, if you wonder why I say in New South Wales, why don't I say Australia? Well, it's because it's a big country. And so at the moment up north in Darwin, at the top end as they call it, it's 30 degrees. Um, and it's their dry season. So they have a wet season and dry season. Um, and so it's not winter kind of conditions everywhere. I've set up my tent. I've made a snowman for my uh, granddaughter Bipsy as I promised I would. My snow camping isn't like some of the snow camping you see. Um, often people will put everything in a backpack, hike up a mountain and camp there. For me to be able to do that, I'd need to buy some really lightweight uh, sleeping equipment and I haven't got it and I can't afford it. You know, you're probably looking at a thousand dollars for um, a sleeping bag that is suitable. My sleeping bag was like a hundred dollars and it's useless. <laughs> um, so I haven't got the equipment. I'd love to go on a hike and hike up a mountain. And I do plan to do a small one uh, sometime soon. I hope if the snow sticks around, um, but it'll only be a short one. Um, so it won't be too far to carry my heavy gear. Um, although I did try it here once, I used all my um, bike packing gear and it was okay. I was very cold, but it was okay. So with this camping, I can park just up the road and there's a few other campers here in the bush um, these trees are a bit ominous you know they do drop their limbs quite often and it's a bit scary um, and there is one if this one behind me falls then I'm in trouble anyway I just hope it doesn't so I didn't want to be as cold as I was last time I snow camped so I brought a little weapon and I'll show you it. Da, 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 da. It's a Covia Cupid gas heater. It comes in this nice little box. There's something else new I'm trying as well. And that's these, I bought two of these little latex covers for the um, butane gas canisters because in the cold, they don't work. So I put one in my cooker and I'm gonna use one. Hopefully it'll fit in this heater. I don't know if it will. So you insert, no, it's not gonna go. So unfortunately I can't get it in here with the cover on. And you insert it in there, you push and then twist and that is it. So let's go in the tent and see how it works. Oh it's lit. And what about carbon monoxide you might say? Well, I'm prepared. So would you believe it? Some people buy a CO2 monitor instead of a CO monitor. So I've got myself a little CO monitor. Hopefully, hopefully it works. So apparently the Cupid will run for four hours flat out and seven hours on low. So I'll turn it on to low. It's putting out a nice bit of heat. So my boss yesterday, he gave me some old cross country skis and some boots, but the boots are too big, like four sizes too big. And there was a smaller pair, but I can hardly get my feet in them. You won't believe it, I forgot to bring my sponge pants. Um, I'm going to go and get the cross country skis and have a go on them. <laughs> So these are the skis, they're cross country skis. They're delaminating a bit, but never mind. And he gave me some poles. 
so these are from my boss um, and these boots the smaller boots are too small these are huge I'm busting for a wee actually it's getting quite windy as well look at the sky the fast moving clouds That isn't speeded up. There's some wind up there, isn't there? Jeez, hope it's not too mad. So I've got two pairs of socks on and my toes are down here somewhere. But uh, I'll give them a go. I might as well just see if I like cross-country skiing. If I do, then I can get some perhaps. I'm not sure I like it yet. So I failed the initiative test. <laughs> I don't know how the shoes clamp in. Uh, I don't understand. Oh. Ah, oh, right. I think I see now. I've got to push it in a long way and then clamp this in there. They're really long. They're a bit mad. So this is now my GoPro Hero 8 and I've put my woolly hat on it. The filming may be all over the place. I might not be aiming it anywhere I'm intending to because I can't see the screen. Anyway, let's give this skiing thing a, a go. Please don't break my leg. I hope, fingers crossed. I don't know how you turn corners. Oh. Three. Yeah, turning's not very easy. Ah. Oh, is that going off without me? Um <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. They're not as scary as my snow feet. <laughs> You've got something behind you. They're still pretty slippery. Slipperier than I thought they'd be. No idea how to stop or turn the corner. <laughs> uh, I haven't broken my ankles. That's one good thing. Poles are over there. Yeah, I don't know how to turn corners on these. And I don't know how to stop when you're in those two tracks. That's how you do it. show off <laughs> yeah why can't I just do that why am I so wibbly wobbly I'm really wibbly wobbly anyway let's get up and get going so a lady just told me how to stop and how to turn but she said I don't want to be going in the tracks downhill and you're probably not going to stop going downhill or turn today because because it's so icy. So I'm on my ass again. Uh, it's really hard to get up. <sighs> I've got the skis off. I'm back at my tent. It's kind of snowing. I found the neoprene sleeves on the gas canisters did improve the gas life 
a little bit, but not that much. Unfortunately, I'm too stupid to use liquid fuel, so I have to stick with gas. I've got my little fire on, just on low. Um, it's snowing properly outside and the wind is gusting now and again, but it's died down. I'm just having um, a nut butter wrap and some homemade soup I brought in a thermos. And then I'm gonna eat some chocolatey chickpeas and some chocolate. And I'm having a, uh, a naughty dinner because I just feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like having anything proper to eat. And it's five to six in the evening. It's dark now. I'll just show you outside. It's around eight o'clock. It's been snowing since six and there's about um, 50 millimetres of snow fallen. I didn't realise it was still snowing because I couldn't hear it. And that was because there was so much cover in the tent and I just knocked it all off and I can hear it again now. But yeah, it snowed quite a bit. I'm love, love, loving the Cupid. I've just turned it off, but it's really good. So I open my vent. So carbon monoxide is lighter than air, so it's going to float. So I put my detector there. So uh, should carbon monoxide become a problem, hopefully the alarm will go off and I won't die. But you never know, it was a piece of cheap crap from Amazon. So. <laughs> I've also forgot my shiwi, which means I'm going to have to go outside the tent for a wee. So I'm holding on <laughs> until I'm desperate. Um, anyway, it's eight o'clock, although I have been dozing and I do feel pretty much wide awake. And I've been eating chocolate. That's probably not good at bedtime. So anyway, I think I'll try and get some shut eye. So, catch you later. Perhaps we'll go for a walk in the snow. Ah, another thing I forgot, my camp shoes. I've only got my big boots with me. That's really annoying because when I go out for a wee, I'm gonna have to put my big boots on. Ugh. I'll have to try and hold on till the morning, but I'm not drinking, so I'll be dehydrated and I have got a bit of a headache actually. I haven't drunk much today. Ah, oh, such an ink and poop. I will have to do a list, a snow camp list. And I think I've got one actually. I just didn't check it off. I'll have to have a look, see if I've still got it. Anyway, nighty night. May see you later. Otherwise, in the morning. Hopefully it'll be a frosty, sparkly, crispy, snowy morning. Anyway, nighty night. Hi, it's three o'clock in the morning. I, I just had to get up and do a wee. I was trying to last through the night, but I needed to go. Um, took some photos and I thought I'd make myself a cup of tea. I'm absolutely loving the Covey Cupid. <laughs> it is really good. When you get wake up at two o'clock in the morning and you're freezing cold like that, you soon get warm. And this uh, did actually work. I turned the heater on and I only had the vent open but there was so much snow on it it wasn't very wide and it went up to 26 but it let out the most pathetic beep it wouldn't have woke you up I just hope the alarm is louder uh, for when it's serious because it was like beep 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 and that was it didn't beep again um, anyway perhaps I should let it build up and half kill myself to test it Good morning. It's half past seven. It's a bit chilly. It snowed of some sort all night long. I think there'd been about 150 millimetres.
I wasn't feeling on top form. I had a chesty cough and a bunged up nose and an earache, but I was absolutely loving this. Cheers to you and your day. I have no idea what mine's going to bring. Um, I think it's going to bring snow chains though to get home. Uh, I'll have to check when I leave. I think I'll leave around perhaps midday. Every day is a school day, isn't it? This was the first time I'd used a toboggan to carry my camping stuff in the snow and I needed to tie the um, stuff onto it because otherwise it would fall off. So luckily I carry some paracord with me, so I used that. But now I have on order a small cargo net and also I've changed the rope, the towing rope on it it was far too short, it kept hitting my heels, hitting my snowshoes, so I've put a much, much longer rope on the toboggan now. Okay, finally ready for a bit of a cross-country ski. I watched some videos last night to get some tips. I think I'm just actually useless at it. Um, I'm not going to try my snowshoes. I haven't got my sponge pants and I will definitely fall on my bum hard on those. I will fall on my bum on these but it's slightly lighter. I forgot my helmet. I've left it in the car. Uh, so let's just hope. It's just stopped snowing. It's beautiful, it's like a magical winter wonderland for want of a less cliched expression. There's quite a wind, I can hear the cars on the road clattering along on their chains. I don't want to fit chains, I really don't want to fit chains. But I'm going to have a quick ski, then I've got probably three journeys to take stuff back to the car to Madge Padge and then I'll see if I can get going. So let's get on and ski. It's quarter to 12. I've enjoyed myself on the uh, cross-country skis, getting a bit more confident. So I think I will stick with those. Um, now I need to pack up and get going because it's steadily snowing still. When I wasn't skiing, these were the boots I was wearing and they're Magnum Boxer boots and they're waterproof. And I can confirm that this weekend my feet didn't get wet at all whilst I was wearing them, unlike the XTM boots that I had last year. I'd already taken two toboggan loads back to the car, so I just had the tent to pack up now and a few bits and pieces, and I made myself a cup of coffee, and I was just wishing my trip could last longer. Everything's always such a rush for me, trying to do things in one weekend, I'd love to have stayed here a few days and I thoroughly enjoyed my cross-country skiing efforts even though I wasn't very good. <laughs> oh, 
packed up. I've just got, well, maybe one or two more runs to do, but uh, I'm trying to do it in one. So it's a goodbye to Coco, as named by my granddaughter Bipsy. Coco, the snowman. May you last a long time, Coco. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you found anything interesting in this, perhaps you could give me a thumbs up by hitting that like button. And also if you haven't subscribed, it would be really, really kind of you if you could think about doing that too. I'd have loved to have stayed at JB Plain another couple of days, but I was due back to work on the Monday. So I headed off around 1.30. Heavier snow and winds were due later that afternoon. And at this time, the only two wheel drive were having to use chains. And once they declare it, it is compulsory. Luckily, four wheel drive didn't have to use them. And this is the very reason or well, one of the reasons I bought a four-wheel drive with proper high and low four-wheel drive gears. What a wonderful time I'd had at JB Plain this weekend. I met a few people and spent some time chatting with them. That was good to learn why other people were there. Uh, one young lad who is actually a tour guide on the Great Ocean Road was up in the high country snow camping for the first time. Uh, he was very interesting to talk to and I really enjoyed my attempt at cross-country skiing for the first time. I shall certainly be practicing that and hope to get better. I'll keep my fingers crossed that the snow is going to hang around for a, a couple more months so I can get back up there. Although it felt like I was cheating a bit at snow camping by taking a heater, having the Covia Cupid with me really was a bonus because I'm a very cold sleeper and my sleeping bag really isn't up to the job of sleeping in minus five temperatures. Um, so I was very glad I had it. I'll be putting a list of the equipment I use, such as my tent and my cot, etc., down in the description below this video. So if you wondered what I was using, take a look down there and hopefully uh, it will be listed. If it's not, pop a comment on and I'll let you know the answer as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, it's a goodbye for now.